Hey guys, in this lesson I'm going to show you the second option I mentioned to make the bottle. And this will actually be the method I'll use myself. But of course you can use the previous option if you prefer that one. So we'll use a spline, this one here, Bezier. It's just like any tool we could use in a vector-based software like Illustrator or CorelDRAW. And with this, we'll just go around the bottle like this. Personally, I think this option is much easier than the first. Again, I'm not going to do this bottom part in my final design. I'm going to make it simpler, but you can do it if you want to. I'm just going to do something like this, much more simple. Okay, we have the point selection on, so we're going to select these points here and use the bevel. Zoom in to make sure all the points are selected. Right click and select this option called chamfer, which creates a beveled effect, like this. We also need to separate the outside from the interior, which will be the liquid inside the bottle. So in selection, select rectangle selection. And select all the points like this, right click and go to this option, create outline. And there we go. Okay, so we've separated the outside of the bottle from the inside. I'll just do it again, I think it was a bit too big. So select all the points again, using the rectangle selection. There's a very small space between the liquid and the outside of the bottle, I think. Okay, I think that's better. Let's take a look at what we've done here. Before that, obviously, as we've separated the inside from the outside, I need to separate these two points. So we'll right click and create point. Make one here and make another point at the bottom. Okay, so we'll select them. And then what we'll do is disconnect the points with this option here. Okay, and we'll delete this one. And then the other. We'll do the same for the points at the top. So we need to select, right click, and disconnect, and then delete, and again. Okay, now to totally separate them, what I'm going to do is select the spline. And with the point selection active, select all of the outer spline. Okay. Select all of it. So right click and select this option, split. Then we'll delete. And the two are now separated. The inside, the liquid, from the outside of the bottle. Okay, let's apply the lathe. Put the spline inside. Then add another one and put the other spline inside that too. So this would be the outside of my bottle. And this would be the inside. So to tell them apart, you can change the names, exterior and interior or liquid and bottle, whichever you prefer. Down here in the options, you can select X-ray. 
Okay, x-ray. So that is the outside and the inside of the bottle done. And in the next lesson, we're going to start to add things like the lid and prepare other details of the products. So I'll see you for the next class.